Okay, this is lesson 12-4. We're gonna do our workbook pages. It's, we're gonna start at page 627, okay? So at the state park, there is a one mile hiking path between the park entrance, which is right here. This is the park entrance and the beach, which ends right here. Okay, it's one mile from here to here. Oops, sorry. One mile from here to here. Scenic lookouts are located at points one third and two thirds of the distance from the park entrance to the beach. Show about where the lookout points are located on the line below. Okay, whenever we are doing fractions on a number line, first thing we have to do is draw the point marks for zero and one. Okay, you just, it, that has to be done at the very beginning before you can start dividing that line up. You have to draw the zero and the one, okay? Now, our denominator in both of these is three, which means that we're going to divide this into three equal parts, which means we, if we have three parts, we're going to draw two lines. So show me three fingers, and now tuck one of them away. How many lines are you gonna draw? Two, okay? So three parts, two fingers. I mean, two lines you're gonna draw. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line here and a line here. Okay, the whole number one must be Okay, our denominator is going to be thirds, okay? Whole number one, the denominator and the numerator are the same. So go ahead and just label whole number one as three-thirds, okay? So this is going to be one-third and two-thirds, and then number one is three-thirds. So we got one-third, two-thirds, and three-thirds. So here is where our first scenic lookout is and our second scenic lookout, Okay. If you know about where the point one third is, how can you find out about where two thirds is? Okay, well, it has to be the same distance. So if you know this is one third, then you would go about the same distance. I'm not perfect, but if you would about here, this is gonna be the same distance and it's gonna be continuing to the right, getting closer to the one mile mark, okay? So you can write um, it, <laughs> will be the same it will be the same distance and what I mean by that is if you have here's zero and here's one. Oh, oh my goodness I'm so sorry here's zero and here's one okay if we know this is three-thirds okay we're gonna make we have three parts, so we're going to draw two lines. So one and one. So what I mean by it'll be the same distance is it's the same distance from zero to this first one is one third, and then the same distance as far as this is, is as far as that is, is as far as that was because they're equal, okay? All right, let's go to the back. All right. Mrs. Mr. Singer is picking up his daughter Greta from school to go to soccer practice. Greta's school is located at three-fourths of the distance from the Singer's house to the soccer field. So here's the Singer's house and here's the soccer field, okay? Now, how can you represent three-fourths on the number line? So basically they wanna know, they wanna dot and a label at three-fourths, okay? So look at your denominator. Denominator tells you how many parts total, okay? We have drawn our zero and our one. Our denominator tells us four equal parts. So what is this fraction going to be underneath whole number one? We know our denominator is going to be four. So how many fourths equals one whole? Well, you would have to have all of them. Remember the numerator? and the denominator are the same, okay? So four fourths equals one whole. So whole number one is four fourths, okay? It'd be easier to write it underneath it, but I can't fit it. So I need four fourths. So how many lines do I draw? Tuck one finger in, okay? Fours, I need four sections, so I'm gonna draw three lines. So I'm gonna draw three lines, so I'll do one in the middle, one there in the middle, and one there in the middle, okay? So this, all of them are going to have the same denominator, of four, okay? Write those denominators in because the denominators have to be the same. So if this is zero, this is one-fourth, two-fourths, and three-fourths. And then you would 
make your mark for three-fourths, okay? Now, let's say that I'm going on a very long run in the morning and I'm going to run 10 miles. I'm not really, but let's just say I'm gonna run 10 miles. And here's my route. I'm gonna run over here and then down over here, run over here and this is the end and that is 10 miles, okay? And let's say I run out of water halfway through. Okay, this is my, my zero, my start point. Halfway on this route is probably right about here, okay? It's about halfway, okay? How many miles have I run when I'm halfway done? If my whole route is 10 miles, then halfway is probably about five miles, right? This is about five miles, and then that's about five miles. Okay, so half of my route is five miles because I'm running 10 miles. Let's say the next day I am running two miles, just a short little run, okay? So I'm running two miles. I'm running from here to there, okay? And that is a total of two miles, okay? Let's say I run out of water on halfway through that route. It's about halfway right there. Okay, so half is one mile. So how can, it, it, it's important for you to understand that on a 10 mile route, half of my route is five miles, but on a two mile route, half of my route is one mile. Okay, but they're both half, but it's just half of a different size. I can eat half of a small bag of chips and feel pretty good about myself, or I can eat half of a huge, large bag of chips and have a stomach ache because I ate too much because I ate half of a bigger amount, okay? So half depends, how big half is depends on how big the hole is, okay? So let's take a look here, okay? Jenna and Benito each marked one-fourth on a number line. The length of the part from zero to one-fourth on Jenna's number line is shorter than the length of zero to one-fourth on Benito's number line. Did someone make a mistake? Did Benito, let's see, you got one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths, right? So that's definitely one-fourth, and here we have one-fourth, all of our, these are all gonna be fourths, but we got two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths. No, nobody made a mistake. It's just that Jenna's line, her hole is smaller than Benito's. So her one-fourth is shorter than his because her how far she has to go is shorter. Okay, just like my 10 miles and my, my two-mile run, okay? All right, let's take a look up here. Malia divides a number line from zero to one into six equal lengths. What unit fraction represents each unit length, and what should Malia label the tick mark just to the left of one? Okay, we are absolutely gonna have to draw this number line. So the first thing you do is draw a line, and you must label what? What's the first thing you have to label? Two things, zero and one. You have to do it, you have to. It's like brushing your teeth in the morning, okay? So now, we're going to have six equal lengths, which our denominator, of course, is gonna be six, okay? So whole number one is going to be six, six. We have to know that, okay? It's gonna be six, six. If we want to draw, we want six equal parts. How many lines do we draw? Five, okay? Six equal parts, pull one back. You're gonna make five lines. So I can do it in half and do two over here and two over here, that's a total of five. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Whole number one is six, six. Every one of these is gonna have a denominator of six because that's how many parts there are total to make this whole, okay? All right, now, let's go ahead and count them. Zero, that's our start line. We don't get credit for starting. We can't count this as a one. We haven't even crossed the start line, okay? Here's the start line. We go one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and six, six. That needs to really fit underneath that hole number one, but that's okay. 
So now, what unit fraction represents each length? Well, each one of them, remember unit fraction is going to have six on the bottom because that's how many parts it is, and, and a unit fraction just means each individual piece, so it's gonna be one sixth. What should Malia label the tick mark just to the left of one? So put, put your pencil on number one, and left goes that way, so left would be five sixths, okay? And that it's because, you don't have to write it down, but it's because five six is, is one less than six six. You have to know that whole number one is gonna be six six, so the one just to the left would be one less, which is five six. Josh divides the number line from zero to one into eight equal lengths. What should he label the first tick mark to the right of zero? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna draw this out. What's the first thing we do? We draw our number line, but what's the very first thing we do? Two things, we label. zero and one, okay? Every denominator is gonna be eight. So this whole number one is going to be eight eighths, right? Because that's gonna be, oops, that's gonna look like a whole nother fraction over there. Sorry about that. Okay, eight eighths. So if we want eight sections, it's really close to the camera there. If you want eight sections, you have to draw seven lines, okay? Now it's kind of easy with the, so you got seven lines, which means you can do one over here and you gotta do three over here. They're not gonna be perfect, okay? Every denominator must have an eight. Okay, and let's go ahead. This is zero, we haven't started yet. This is gonna be one eighths, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then we gotta check that we're on track that whole number one should be eight eighths. So what should he label the first tick mark to the right of zero? So here's zero, what's the first tick mark? One eighth, okay? Now, let's take a look up here. In number three and four, divide the number line into the given number of equal lengths, then mark and label the given fraction of the line. Okay, so we want two equal lengths, so that's gonna be one and two, right? They want two equal lengths. Whole number one, they already gave us our zero and our one for us because they were so nice. This is gonna be two halves, right? This has to have a denominator of two, and so what's that gonna be? Zero, one half, and two halves is whole, okay? Four equal lengths. I want you to do this one, pause it, and then come back. Okay, they already did our zero and our one for us, we want four equal lengths. So if we want four equal lengths, we draw three lines. Okay, this has to be four fourths. Each one of these is gonna have the same denominator. So one fourths, two fourths, three fourths. And they want us to label two fourths there, okay? So you're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Three equal lengths. Draw a little, like a dot here to show, you know, where we did two thirds. And same thing here. On the back, I wanna show you something. Okay, um, these are all good. Uh, show three ways that you could represent three eighths. It might be that you draw like a circle and you divide it into eighths. First of all, three eighths should look like this, okay? Um, you might divide it into eights and shade three of them. You might do a number line, first labeling zero and one, divide it into eights and then put a dot and label where three eights is. And you might do like a rectangle and divide that into eights and shade three of them, okay? Another important one, this one here, the gymnast starts at the left end of the balance beam and does some handsprings and when she's finished, She's here. They wanna know what fraction represents where this dot is. Okay, first of all, make this your zero and make this your one. Okay, you could write it above if that's easier, but you have to draw label your zero and your one. Okay, this is like a number line right through here. Okay, so let's count out how many parts we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight eighths. Every one of these is gonna have a denominator of eight. 
Okay, so you just have to figure out which one this is, okay? All right, good job.